Coffee for Dad, frozen broth cube for Mabel. We are ready to go. Shots. We're making a video day every day for 30 days. Today we're sitting down for some coffee and conversation and I'm gonna break down something very important for you. I'm about to tell you the single most effective strategy I have ever found for breaking bad habits. So it's free, effective, simple, and you can start doing it today. But first, you have to understand something. I have this YouTube channel that's about fitness and nutrition and healthy habits, but it's not like I only have healthy habits. Like, I'm working on stuff all the time. And I suppose that's why I always have something to talk about, because I am very aware of the fact that I am not sitting on top of some mountain of accomplishments speaking down to everybody back on Earth. No, that is not the case. I'm climbing the mountain and just reporting directly across to you along my journey. And to get myself out of this mountain metaphor, before I start quoting Miley Cyrus, uh, let me quote my boy BF, Benjamin Franklin. Without continual growth and progress, such words as improvement, achievement, and success have no meaning. So as you continue to move towards that finish line, you have to remember that it is ceaselessly gonna be moving further and further away from you. But that's no reason to stop moving. That's no reason to stop trying to improve. In my opinion, every person that is worth even striving to be like is somebody that is always striving to be better. Look, you and I both know that we are not perfect. We all have some bad habits that we're trying to work on. Maybe it's too much sitting, or too much soda, or too much coffee, or maybe it's that evening glass of wine or two that you're working on, or maybe you're working on paying attention to your wife while you enjoy that evening glass of wine or two together. Whatever it is, whatever you're working on, I want you to know that it's okay that you're not perfect. Nobody is. Here, I'll even be vulnerable and put myself on the line. Here's a few things that I'm currently working on. One, I wanna be more mindful about my meals. That's why I'm doing the three plates, two snacks rule for this month. And if you wanna figure out exactly what the three plates, two snacks rule is, I already did a video on it. It's the first video in this 30 days of video series. So I'll link it up above and I'll put it in the show notes below so you can find it and learn all about it and realize just how undisciplined I really am. I've been like 60% consistent, not bad. Not great. Two, I, I wanna have better posture while sitting. I'm trying to make sure that my shoulders are tall and back and retracted and that my spine is nice and straight, my head is tall, my chin is tucked. But sometimes when I'm working away at my computer, I find myself leaning forward into my devices. And if you've seen a lot of my fitness content, you know how passionate I am about correcting upper cross syndrome. So it's crazy that I let that one slip as often as I do. And three, I wanna stop mindlessly listening to my headphones. And yeah, if you're a fan of the channel, you'll know that I even went out of my way and did a 30 days of no headphones and no passive listening challenge. And even after the challenge, as I continue to learn and grow and reassess my relationship with passive listening, I can always find myself doing something while listening to a podcast or an audiobook or some music. I'm really not engaged in either activity, the listening or the doing. And I really just wanna be better at doing what I'm doing while I'm doing it. So those are just three of the many things that I know I need to work on to make myself a better version of myself. And it's not like the version of myself right now is not okay. I'm totally fine with this guy, but I just know that there is room for improvement. And these areas of improvement, I've written them down and I track them in this journal. And I don't feel too guilty when I fall short on this habit reform. It's taken me many years to figure this out, but guilt doesn't do me much good in terms of changing my behaviors. So instead of bad habits, let's think of these things like instincts that just need some adjusting. And a habit, is simply defined as one, a settled or regular tendency or practice, especially one that is hard to give up. Two, an automatic reaction to a specific situation. And three, an addictive practice. So we're mostly talking about automated responses to recurring situations that become instinctual and behavioral over time. And if your addiction is beyond this, if it is a truly physical addiction where you experience withdrawal symptoms, I would recommend seeking professional help and you can stop listening to guys like me on the internet. But even to everybody else, before you go out of your way and take my advice, I would dedicate some time to doing some research and trying out the industry standard strategies for habit reform. Define the behavior, identify your triggers, change your environment, replace the behavior, get a support system, leave notes and reminders for yourself, 
and find a higher purpose in spirituality or mindfulness. So all of these methods and many more are the tried and true industry standards of habit reform. They work, tons of people have used them. And I like to incorporate parts of these strategies on top of my own strategy. So I know what you're wondering. What is this strategy? What is this ingenious method of habit reform that Chase has figured out that he is ready to release upon the world? Well, brace yourself, buddy. This is big. I wear a rubber band on my wrist. Yes, you might have seen it in some of the videos so far in this 30 days of video challenge, but more often than not, I've got a rubber band right here on my wrist. And here's how it works. Anytime I find myself mindlessly engaging in one of the habits that I'm trying to reform, I give myself a quick little snap. And no, it's not for the pain. No, it's not because I've been a bad boy and I deserve to be punished by the fierce rubber band. This is not a shame or a guilt thing in any way. The way I look at it is a physical wake up call. It's a little feeling that you can only feel for a moment and then it's gone. And in a way, this reminds me that the present moment is the only thing that is really real. Like I'm always preaching this one step at a time message, but it's so true. The step you are currently taking right now is the only step that really matters. And this quick snap gets me to focus on this very step. It gets me out of my head for a second, and I've attached it to a little mantra that I say to myself after I feel the sting. Snap out of it, be here now, you're okay. And I'll say this to myself, and then I'll take like three deep breaths, and then I'll do whatever strategies I've planned on doing to replace that bad behavior. I already know what I should do, I've already decided what I'm going to do, but doing it, that's the hard part. First, establish your game plan for habit reform, that's essential, and then upgrade to the rubber band. Look, I'm not a psychologist or a scientist, and I have no idea why the rubber band works wonders for me, but it does. I am a personal trainer, and I have talked to hundreds, if not thousands of people from all around the world who are trying to get their fitness and nutrition in check, and I know that things like this really do work. We all know what to do. All of the information you could ever need is out there, but sticking to your plan, that's the hard part. Keeping promises to ourselves is insanely, ridiculously difficult. It doesn't make sense. Most of us would give up the world for somebody that we love, but we can't even give up a bag of Doritos for ourselves. Your mind is using you. That line from The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle really stuck with me. Left unchecked, my mind will go on running the show and I'll almost be on autopilot. Sure, it's creating dialogue and thinking thoughts and commenting on things about others and about myself, but it's just there to identify problems and create problems and get me to keep going and keep staying busy and keep not addressing the fact that I keep repeating the same patterns and behavior loops again and again and again. It's how I get my... Like I was saying, sometimes that quick jolt into the present moment is all I need to get my mind to stop running the show. Maybe it's in the kitchen, maybe it's in your office, at your desk, at home with your family. Anywhere, anytime, you need to break free of mindlessly repeating these same habits over and over again. These instinctual, thoughtless reactions taking over your life. You're not sticking to the promises that you've made to yourself. Just take a moment, snap out of it, and be here now, because I promise you that you are okay. And that's the honest to God truth. And um, that's all I have for you today. I'm making a video a day, every day for 30 days this month, and most of the videos are about fitness, nutrition, and training your body. But I'm also very aware of the fact that if you can learn to train your mind, then training your body takes on a whole new life. So I'm gonna stop this video and I'm immediately going to record another video for tomorrow with another mental practice that has really done a lot for me. So thanks for tuning in guys. I appreciate all of you, especially the ones who have tuned into every video so far. That means the world to me. So let me know in the comments if I'm totally in over my head about this rubber band. And also let me know if you have video topic ideas or suggestions moving forward because we are officially halfway done with the 30 days of videos challenge. 15 down? 15 to go. That's exciting. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.